it finally arrived bought on the 8th and delivered on the 26th and guess what this was three days before my next econet data subscription was due talk about cutting it close close whilst i figure out how to open this box i'll share some deets on how we got here 18 September 2023 is when I placed my pre-order for Starlink. That's the month when pre-orders were opened up for Zimbabwe. Fast forward to 6 September 2024 and I get an email telling me that I can place an order for my kit. Placed an order on the 8th. On that same day, I got an email from Starlink with an estimated delivery date between 16 and 20 September. On the 17th, I got another email from Starlink telling me my exact delivery date is 24 September. At this point, I changed my delivery address to a DHL collection point in town, hoping that that allows me to get it quicker since I would have skipped the delivery part because I had to go to the On the 24th, nothing. I checked DHL and that big and bold delivery date was gone. I checked the notes and they said that the kit is still with Team Zimra. So I called DHL and they confirmed the stuff in the notes. My kit was amongst a batch currently getting cleared and would be ready to deliver by the 26th. I called them again and on the 25th they told me that my kit and others are now at DHL's dispatch and will begin deliveries from the 26th but if it's urgent I can go and grab my kit at their dispatch office. You know which option I chose, there are no surprises there. You know what, real quick, the DHL customer support team is amazing. No wonder they're Starlink's global partner for delivery. Calls are answered choppers and they are always very friendly. I just had to put it out there. Now, my fellow Zimbabweans, I know Murukwata Zimra. I can confirm with you, Kuti, if you buy your kit on Starlink's website, the price you pay includes duty, shipping, and handling. All you have to do is you have to provide your tracking number, your ID, and then sign the delivery or collection note. That's it. Right, this is what I got for my 364 bucks. You have an outdoor antenna or dish and it's as big as a 27 inch monitor. It also has this big setup guide that comes with only pictures and no text. At the bottom, it's got the kickstand and it looks like it's got holes here for securing it to the roof or whatever surface you put it on. There is a way to remove this kickstand and replace it with a pole mount and that's something I'll be playing around in the next video setting it up so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. This is the Gen 3 router and it's about the size of a loaf of bread. Pretty big and water resistant. Anyways, it's got two exposed ports, one used to connect the router to the dish and another for power. There's also two ethernet ports hidden behind this chunky rubber cover over there. The included cable linking the router to the dish is 15 meters long. Both ends look the same, so really either end can go to the dish or to the router. I wish they spoiled us with the 45 meter cable. It gives more setup flexibility. This power supply is also water resistant and rated at 195 watts, and it comes with this power supply cable. Notice how this power supply has a square plug. This is because Starlink looked into the electrical standards in Zim and made sure they included the correct plug. If you buy from other regions with different electrical standards, you'll probably get a different power adapter. Something to keep in mind. There is also a sheet with safety information that almost no one reads, but there we go. <laughs> this is a quick unboxing video I wanted to do for you. I'll be setting it up tomorrow and testing it out. Video on that will be dropping same time next week. So if you've got stuff that you want me to try out with Starlink or any setup questions, just throw them in the comments and I'm going to see you in a bit.